Hi, this is the first of a series of um, videos about the Wuhan Square uh, Cabin Hospital. Now that all the Square Bin Hospitals has been closed, it is time to have a review and see uh, how this Chinese experience might be able to be applied to the rest of the world in face of the current coronavirus epidemic. Oh yes, by the way, it's now declared as a pandemic. Uh, this is translated from a Chinese website and I try to do it the best I can, but I'm not sure whether I can make a very accurate translation. But please bear with me, I'm trying my best to explain what it is about a square a cabin hospital. Um, the purpose of uh, building the square bean hospital is twofold. First, prevention to stop the spread of the coronavirus and second, to provide treatment to mild symptoms patients. It can be can be used in a emergency situation and it might um, be a very good lesson for governments to learn how to deal with serious crises like what Chinese have faced. It is a pretty new model, so let's look at it. Uh, Square Cabin Hospital will be written in the history of Wuhan, in the history of Hebei, and even in the history of China. This is the story of how the uh, Square Cabin Hospital helped in the fight against the, this new COVID-19 uh, disease. February 3rd is a day to remember. In the, morning, in the meeting that afternoon, facing the severe situation of Wuhan, the new coronavirus um, fin, um, pneumonia epidemic, Wang Shen, Vice President of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, Dean of the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, an expert in respiratory and critical care medicine suggested the construction of a large venues to treat and isolate patients in large numbers. Square B Cabin Hospital is born. The Central Guardian team immediately made the decision and the construction begin, began that light. On March 10, all the Square Cabin Hospitals completed their mission, all of which are now suspended. At this time, the number of newly diagnostic patients in Wuhan had dropped from four to five figures to a double digit. Over the past month, more than 13,000 beds has been opened in the Square cabin hospitals in Wuhan, and more than 12,000 patients has been admitted. One out of every four patients with the new coronavirus in Wuhan is treated in a square cabin hospital. The square cabin hospital has achieved zero infection, zero death, and zero return. Wang Shen believes that the Square Cabin Hospital uses the fastest speed and the smallest social cost to achieve the purpose of rapidly and greatly expanding the capacity of admission and treatment. It is not a perfect solution, but it is a realistic strategy to resolve the main contradiction of admission and treatment. Here is a photo of Professor uh, Wang Xin. 
Divers have needed difficult to find a bed. 2020 started terribly. In Wuhan, a mega city with a population of tens of millions, standing at the top of the rivers, the situation was not only bad, there was panic and despair. The next day of the city culture, on the Chinese New Year's Eve, a patient who had fever for more than four days said he had not been able to be admitted to any hospital because the need of isolation. He has no choice but to sit on the street. Just lock me up. I don't know where else to go. The same night, Wuhan citizen he Chong Xing, uh, this is not the real name, fainted at home. He was sent to the Ho Hao Hospital. The doctor pointed at the patients in the aisle and shook his head. He can't be admitted. On the New Year's Day, his temperature rose to 39 degrees. Wuhan number 6 hospital put him on a highly sus suspected list but there are still no beds. Five days later, his family asked for help before finding a bed in Union Hospital. He was diagnosed the next day. The daughter has already ordered to be prepared. On February the 2nd, he passed away on the way to transfer to another hospital. Earlier, his wife and son also developed fever and were diagnosed shortly afterwards. Some infected people were desperate and committed suicide. Life collapsed into points with no temperature, raising the curve of the statistical data every day. On February 2nd, the number of newly confirmed cases in Wuhan existed 1,000 for the first time, reaching 1,033. In the next 17 days, this data has been maintained at four digits. The number of accumulated clinically diagnostic cases broke through 10,000. Here we have a curve starting from the 31st uh, January to the 5th of February. We see the curve rising rapidly. The uh, black curve is the newly uh, diagnostic cases and the blue is the accumulated cases at that day. These are the available beds in the designated hospitals in Wuhan. The gray one are those beds available, and the blue are those beds which have been used. So you see that by the 3rd of February, the demand exists that they supply. On the same day, a total of 7,259 beds were opened in 26 designated hospitals in Wuhan, but 7,332 beds were already in use. The number of patients seeking medical uh, treatment exploded far exceeding the limits of the medical resources available. A large number of confirmed, suspected, and closely uh, families has been separated from their homes, who has not only triggered a life crisis seeking treatment, but also a major obstacle to the academics, uh, uh, epidemics uh, prevention program. Strategies of he, his family has been reported. At that time, the epidemic situation in Wuhan was described as not serious, but very serious. The source of transmission was not effectively controlled, and the goals of the internal non proliferation and admit every patient seems to be impossible. Advice coming from an expert and 
new cabin hospital is born. On the evening of February 1st, Wang Chen arrived Wuhan by high-speed rail. I know the situation is tense, but I don't know that Wuhan has reached this level. Standing on the street, I can't see any people for a long time. The society has stalled. After local investigation, Wang Chen proposed the strategy of Square Cabin Hospital to the Central Steering Group, which adopted his proposal the same day. On the night of February 3rd, the first three converted cabin hospitals in Wuhan started work overnight, and Wang Chen was rushed to various sites to guide the reconstruction with professional suggestions. The next morning, Sun Chen the leader of the Central Guidance Group and Vice Premier of the State Council, who had been nailed into Hebei, rushed to the on-site inspection of the renovated cabin and requested that all preparation be made before the rescue teams arrives. A worker um, taking a little rest. At this time, the Central Guardian Group mobilized the 22nd medical support teams from the National Medical Rescue Team was rushed to Wuhan at night. Within a few days, tens of thousands of medical staff entered the Square Cabin Hospital to carry out diagnosis and treatment. The Square Cabin Hospital is almost while building, it receives and treats. The requisition of large venues to be converted into square uh, cabin hospital has three advantages. First, large capacity, which can provide a large number of beds. Second, fast, can be built in a short time and can be used in an emergency. Third, low cost, just put in some beds, then it can be put in use with some emergency equipments may be outside of the venue, and medical staff in open ward can take care of a large number of patients. At the same time, Wuhan has begun the construction of new designated hospitals, conversion of uh, isolation treatment uh, facility, facilities into uh, infectious hospital and conversion of some observation sites. The purpose of the Square Cabin Hospital is to treat patients with mild symptoms and the ability to live independently. Wang Chen likens its role as turning off the overflowing tap. At that time, a large number of patients with mild conditions were strangled in families and communities and societies. Each group were highly mobile and would cause more widespread infection. Therefore, the centralized treatment of mild patients in the Square hos Cabin Hospital can isolate the source of infection and cut off the transmission route. If the tap is turned off, sorry, if the tap is turned off, no matter how hard you mop the floor, the water it will not be clear. Wang Chen said that as long as mild patients can get a certain standard treatment, they can be cured and discharged. In the cabin hospital, the patient's condition is monitored, and if it becomes serious, it will be found in time and quickly transferred to a designated hospital with more adequate equipment and support. Three major concerns solved one after another. The success of failure is always in the details. A patient who was transferred from hospital to Wuchen Fong Square Bean Hospital in the rain in the morning of February the 6th recalled that the bed was not piled at first 
and could only be provided with lighting. It was cold at night, and meals and medicines were not provided on time during the day. The toilet was outdoor and three hundred meters away. There's no place for the patients to bath. This is one of the entrance to one of those、um, square B cabin hospital. On the same day, patients in the cabin were emotionally anxious, and videos of kicking and falling were circulating on the internet. Wang Shen was also very anxious. Transferring patients living in the hospital to the cabin, it was difficult to be extravagant, and of course, the patients were un unhappy. For the square cabin hospital, there were three major problems lingering in people's mind at first. First, whether the patient was willing to stay in the square cabin hospital. Second, whether the patient would cause infect each other, and third is the emotional state of the patients. Regarding the first two issues, Wang Chen is more confident. He hopes to position the square cabin hospital as a square cabin shelter hospital to shelter and treat patients who have not been admitted. As long as we can avoid transmission to our families and get timely medical treatment, as long as we can be transferred to a better designated hospital in time when the condition worsens, everyone will be willing to come. As for the problem of cause infection, patients admitted to the cabin must be positive for the new care tests. All patients receiving the cabin. Are infected with the same pathogen, so there's no problem of cause contamination in terms of new corona virus. The prevention of cause infection is mainly to avoid the spread of other infectious diseases such as influenza. The countermeasure is to screen all patients who enter the cabin in advance for influenza antigen. If the result is negative, they can be admitted to the cabin. In addition, people in the cabin require to wear masks to prevent other respiratory、uh, infections. The third issue is a complex social issue. From a sociological point of view, the cabin, the square cabin hospital, is actually a community of mild patients. The community includes social life, medical care, etc. If medical staff and patients cooperate with each other, it will become an unde. It will not become an undesirable social event, but will form a kind of harmonious, a community life. Therefore, Wang Chen suggested to the Wuhan Communist School Party Committee and the government to establish temporary party committees and party branches. In patients in the square cabin hospital, to promote good、uh, patient morale, to organize patients to help and to care for each other during the hospitalization in the square cabin, and to cooperate with the medical staff to maintain good treatment and monitoring, the national and party fests can be hosted in the square cabin hospital to stimulate the civic awareness of all patients. The advanced consciousness of the party members and the and overcome the difficulties with the country. Together, this suggestion worked well. A patient in the cabin said that after the establishment of the temporary party branch, the needs of the patients will be collected and feed back to the relevant parties. For example, the problem of inability to bath is generally reported by patients. The hospital has been working overnight, and two containers have been installed for patients to bath. In addition, the temporary party branch will also organize some patients to help medical care, clean cleaning staff to、uh, move things, and mopping the floor. The community life envisaged by Wang Shen did come true. 
on the internet and in the report, there were a large number of videos of patients doing live dancing and performing sketches with the medical staff in the cabin, and even various KOL such as a study brother, a magic cube sister, and review girl. Turning crisis into opportunity and lesson for the future. The number of cabin hospitals has been racing against the spread of the epidemic. Since February 13, the number of newly confirmed cases in Wuhan has been high at four digits and even exceed 10,000 from time to time. The construction has been keeping up with one square cabin hospital every one and a half day. This is the location of the uh, hospitals in Wuhan. The size of the circle represents the size of the hospital. The uh, circle at the bottom represents the size of 200 beds. The first three square cabins that were built were used as a model and which becomes the blueprint for the National Health and Medical Commission to formulate the Square Cabin Hospital Work Manual. Some medical teams that have participated in supporting these three cabins were later transferred to other cabins to provide experience to the new battleground. The infection point of the Square Cabin Hospital arrived quickly. With the implementation of measures such as quarantining the patients in a large number of hospitals, the epidemic situation was gradually restrained and the number of newly discovered uh, diagnosed patients dropped sharply. On March the 1st, the first cab square cabin hospital in Wuhan was arrested by the 10th as the patients were discharged one after another and a small number of existing patients were diverted to the designated hospital, Wuhan Square Cabin Hospitals were all closed. This is the closing of the last Square Cabin Hospital. We see the staff bowing and lowering the gate. Yao Zhengxiao, a deputy director of the National Health and Medical Commission Medical Center, explained why it was suspended. The next step is to send all patients to designated hospital. At first, as the epidemic situation changes, if the designated hospital is overwhelmed, we will restart the cabin. As an expert deeply involved in the prevention and control of SARS and the epidemic prevention and control of Wuhan's new COVID-19, Wu Wangsheng has been thinking long term as well. This time, the Kabin Hospital has provided us with a very important experience, which can solve China's huge public health and medical problems in a short time and at a small cost. Effective social measures for large scale epidemics. He suggests that the Chinese Academy of Engineering would organize a multidisciplinary project to study how to turn Square Cabin Hospital into a national standard and form a set of management regulations for urban construction. When constructing large venues in the future, it should be taken into consideration in events how to quickly transform into a square cabin hospital in case of emergency needs. For example, when planning and constructing large square or public places, medical emergency functions are designed into the building in advance and interfaces of spaces and facilities for construction are reserved in terms of space arrangements site settings, ventilation systems, and divisions of infectious diseases. 
this experience can also be promoted to the world and become a universal urban design requirement. Thank you for listening, and the I will be uploading one of this uh see one of this series every day in the next few days. Hope that you will join me again tomorrow. Thank you.